Hi there! In today's video, I'll be showing you how I use Procreate to draw food. I'm basing this illustration on this reference photo that I took a few years ago. I'm using the Procreate app, which is available for $10 on the App Store, a second gen Apple Pencil, an iPad Pro 11 inch, and a paper-like screen protector, which is textured to feel like you're drawing on paper rather than glass. I'm including the link in the description below. So I've created a new canvas at 300 dpi. I'm starting with a very rough sketch and I've pasted my reference photo on the canvas. I'm going to lower the opacity of the sketch layer so it's visible but not distracting and create a new layer to hold my clean line work. For my line work, I like to use the 6B pencil brush that comes with Procreate. I like the traditional feel of this brush and I feel like it has a really nice texture. I don't use pure black for lines, but I like to use dark colors. So right now I'm using a dark desaturated brown. So I'm using the 6B pencil at about 70% size to lay some cleaner lines over the rough sketch. Once I finish drawing a shape, I like to turn off the sketch layer to see how the lines look on their own. So you can see that I'm using the photo I took for reference, but I'm taking a lot of liberties and not copying it exactly. I exaggerate and change some of the shapes based on the style of the illustration and how I want it to look.
Now I'm just going to keep the sketch layer hidden um, since the line work is more or less finished up and I'm gonna start adding some color. I am creating a new layer under the line work to hold the color. For this piece, I'm just going to use the hard airbrush that comes with Procreate. Again, I don't want to mimic the colors in the photo exactly. You kind of have to use your judgment here and experiment to see what looks best. I suspect I'll be changing some of these colors as I go, so I'm creating a new layer for each element. Now I want to add some color variation to the green, so I'm choosing a yellow green and recoloring the scallions with it. Because I like to keep a relatively simple color palette, I'm going to match the green tea bottle to the scallions.
and I'm going back to the 6B pencil to add some shine to the soup. I don't want it to look too smooth and digital, so the texture of the pencil brush is perfect for that. Now I want to put just a few subtle shadows on the fish to add some dimension. So I'm selecting the charcoal block brush from the Procreate charcoal brushes. Again, I don't want this coming out to look super digital, so I'm partial to the more traditional looking brushes. I'd like to add a bit of a color gradient to the soup broth, and because I want to keep a traditional look, I don't want a smooth, perfect gradient. So I'm going to lock the layer, select a slightly brighter color from the broth, and grab the Bonobo chalk brush. So this gives me a gradient along with a nice grainy texture. I didn't really like how these shadows turned out, so I'm redoing them. So I'm going to do the same gradient trick with the bonobo chalk on the green tea. pretty happy with how this is looking, so I'm going to crop out my reference photo and choose a background color. I 
was initially going to go with a bright blue background, but now I am partial to this greener color to complement the red in the image. Okay, the sky is just about done. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this little process video was helpful for you. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time!